as soon as we get them. Convicted cop killer Michael Astorga will stay in prison. Today, the New Mexico Supreme Court upheld his conviction for the 2006 murder of Bernalillo County Sheriff's Deputy James McGrain. Action 7 News reporter Nancy Laughlin tells us the McGrain family is very relieved. Shelley Astorga's lawyers argued there were several errors during his trial, including that jurors heard prejudicial evidence. They wanted Astorga's murder conviction overturned, but the state Supreme Court did not buy that and upheld his guilty verdict. A spokesman for the state's prison system tells us that means Astorga will likely stay locked up for the rest of his life. In 2006, he shot and killed Deputy James McGrain during a traffic stop in the East Mountains. He was wanted for another murder at the time. In 2012, Astorga was sentenced to life behind bars. Since then, the McGrain family has tried to make something positive come from the death of their son. They have raised thousands of dollars to help provide training and equipment for New Mexico law enforcement. We feel that it helps us to keep, keep on going, and we know we're helping to maybe save lives of other officers because we didn't want any other officer to go through what our son did. Now, at the time of Astorga's conviction, he was eligible for the death penalty, but state lawmakers have since repealed it. The Corrections Department says he will serve a minimum of 60 years behind bars and is not eligible to earn what's called good time behind bars, so he will likely never get out of prison. Back to you. Bernalillo County Commissioners are in the process of trying to build a memorial in honor of Deputy McGrain and other public servants who were killed in the line of duty. We still do not.